This is the perfect music. This is this is this is the intensity that I needed. Also, Osiris, thank you for the bits. Oh, the intensity is gone. Well, okay. I guess, I guess it's not cool anymore. But I have to drink this water. Thank you for redeeming. Keep Andrew hydrated. Mmm. Mmm. Now that is a good song. Wait, that's an ult. I had no idea that was an ultimate. Okay, everyone. I hope you are excited. And JDJG, thank you so much for 115 bits. It has been a little while, but I'm really glad you're here. And hey, Leon. Hey, all of you. And thank you to like the 700 bazillion people who followed. I know, I know some of you came from Twitter and saw the Twitter live stream. So I hope you all are excited for Mario 64. You can barely, you can barely see the folder. But there it, there it is. Mario 64. Ignore the thing that says Xbox Diddy Kong Racing Prototype that I might show later. But you can just safely ignore that for now. You can just safely ignore that. Because this is going to be epic. This is, this is going to be epic. We have right here. I wish, I wish I could show you a little bit better. Let me, let me go to the extra large icons. There we go. That's what I'm looking for with the with the absolute tiny text yeah that, that's what i'm talking about so let me give you a little backstory on what this is no this has nothing to do with the the nintendo leaks that have been happening why does War of mario have fiji water because uh it's a vaporwave man also my, my audio should be loud enough i think i think the audio is i have a new mic stand that i have set up so i actually have room on my like desk space finally which is awesome hey axon good to have you here you have the Diddy Kong Racing prototype for Xbox. I do, but the Xbox emulator is a trash, a trash. So, I mean, it works. It just works at like five frames per second. So that is, uh, that's something I can show later. But um, yeah, so this is not from the leak that happened. The leak is a totally different thing. This is the work of a group of people who decompiled Mario 64 and um, and it ported it to the PC. So this is native. This is running natively. There's no emulators, no nothing. It is it is pure Mario 64 on the PC, full widescreen support, all that cool stuff. And uh, yeah, I think leak. Oh, you don't know. Okay, so basically someone leaked two terabytes of Nintendo stuff recently that had a bunch of like Wii uh, documentation, the Wii source code for the iOS and a bunch of different stuff. A lot of crazy stuff. Uh, even some Nintendo 64 and GameCube stuff, a lot of stuff like that. Also, we have an Avatar Battle Royale. In case you don't know, people, if you follow and chat, you can uh, you can get an avatar below the screen that you can customize by typing an exclamation point extension or scrolling down. You can customize it and all that stuff. But uh, for now, we're gonna start an Avatar Battle Royale. No, if if you're confused, basically someone leaked a bunch of data off of Nintendo servers. A lot of that data had source code, the uh, uh, what it, the, the the like Pokemon prototype stuff that came out recently is from that. So it's like, yeah, it's definitely legal. It's definitely shown a lot of cool stuff, but it's uh, it's it's a little moral gray area. Luckily, this is not moral gray area. This is all we we good, we good. So oh, I hate, I hate to stop it right when we got uh, we got freaking dreams playing. Oh, I love this song. It reminds me of uh. Good old Sonic Adventure. Anyway, I hate to pause it, but it's a Mario time. It's me, Mario. Hello. So, okay. I got an Xbox controller. It has full Xbox controller support, which is great. So, it's freaking crisp. I, I didn't put it into full screen for, uh, for two very important reasons. Number one, couldn't figure out how to do it. Yes, I can make the game letter. Number one, I couldn't figure out how to do it. Number uh, number two, because like there's like a there's like a config file, and even though I put true in it, it didn't really change it. But I also wanted to show in case anyone chops in that this is indeed Mario 64 PC port. It is with all of the original source code, with all the original files, so there is basically zero difference between this and the Nintendo 64 version. Just sick crispiness. Nice widescreen support, all that good stuff. Alt Enter. Actually, surprisingly, no. Alt Enter does not work. Surprisingly. Yeah. So there is no emulation involved. So this is—it's not even going to have like any glitches or anything like that. Also, I'd like to thank the 131 people who who are here. 
like, I normally get like 30 people on these streams, so this is pretty, uh, uh, what did the kids say? Lit dope? So I think that's what the kids say. I, it's lit dope, right? That's my wife's back there. She didn't say anything, so it's probably right. So, first off, can I say, I freaking love how, like, the widescreen, the UI is actually in the correct place, and how the text is, like, pixel perfect. Literally pixel perfect. Lit dope is not lingo we use. Okay, good to know. So, the camera is really nice. It's still got, of course, because it is the source code, it's still based in, like, you know, you, you click it once. Oh, nice. I have a little Joy-Con drift on my Xbox controller. That's great. Where the frick did you get this? I am not allowed to say, actually, where I got this from. But do know, it's... it's. I don't know if it's a Google search away or not. I really don't. But uh, it was it was someplace. The frame rate doesn't look good. Well, it's because probably, you know, the source code and everything is tied to the frame rate. Mario's just arrived on the scene. We're filming the action. So, you have to change the config file to say true instead of false, and then when you boot up, you can use alt editor to go into full screen. Good to know. But I guess I'll just I'll just leave it like this. I want I'm going to I'm going to try something for a second. Oh, that's nice. So, does it have a variable? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Variable window size ultra wide screen baby. That's sick. I was just like, you know what? What if? That's sick. Does anyone have like a, like a seven like a like a one of those like race car monitors that we could do? We could just like throw race car monitors so it's completely across the screen. That's so freaking cool. And like and like the UI is all nice and spread apart. That's great. That's amazing. I love this. Dang, that's cool. Also, thank you so much, Hexen, for the 245 bits. Appreciate it. We need this in VR. That would be really cool. Uh, th there's just so many possibilities now. Because, like, you know, we have... It's the source code of the game that's been decompiled. And, like, there's just... How stretched can it be? Can you, can you see it? Let me, let me go full screen here. Can you see it? Oh, check out that depth of field. Wait, not depth of field. What is it called? Field of view. Check that out more okay let's get that a little bit oh uh, yeah there we go what do you think ultra super mega widescreen also steam is being run one of my mods is playing team fortress 2 instead of instead of watching the stream but that's okay because he can do that dang i love this it's great i love it i some things that i want to see as like for the for mods that would be really cool is having it where the camera's smooth instead of like buttons because this is this is a direct port okay so you're not gonna really find anything difference between this and uh and mario 64 on the 64 but look how crisp that is like you, you i bet i bet the stream's not showing it because you know you got anti-aliasing and all that on the stream um can we see it squish the other way i can do that but like it's crisp like the text is perfectly crisp without anti-aliasing or anything like that no, no, like, anything. Let me, let me try doing it the other way. Oh, gosh. Gosh. Ew. How would you like to play Super Mario 64 on your iPhone? That'd be actually kind of cool. Look, it's Mario 64, but in iPhone form. I just, I, I, I find it funny how I'm just, like, playing with the window size is enough for me to be super freaking excited. That looks disgusting. Thank you, Taco. <laughs> Thank you, Mod Taiko. Ta Taiko. No, but like all of the all of the screen, like the images and stuff on here, nice and uh, nice and crisp. It's beautiful. Just add some terrible touch joystick, and then you get free ad revenue. See, that is exactly what I need to do for sure. Okay, let's. Oh gosh. Touch controls on a 3D platformer since it sounds not good. Well, you know, you never know until you try. Also, I find it funny. It's got the the coin is right next to the power meter. So like the coin coin meter is like not quite centered, and that bothers me. But you know, it's whatevs. Also, thank you, Pixel Crafty, for 100 bits. How long do you think this is gonna last? Also, do you know of any safe download links? 
I don't know. Well, I do know. I cannot reveal any safe download links. But I can say that people are being very, 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 very protective of this. So I think I think it'll last. I don't think it's gonna go away anytime soon. It's not like any of this is stolen assets or anything, anything like that. It's just, you know, they decompiled it. And, uh, I mean, Nintendo, of course, is gonna get mad at it. Who am I kidding? But still. Reshade can even add ray tracing to Mario 64. Now that would be pretty freaking sweet. I read this will make mods easier. I'm very excited for that. I am very excited for that. Because, you know, like, you have the whole Mario 64 mods that, you know, can't run on hardware or on emulators. They're a little bit iffy. But this is, like, this is, like, perfect. There's, there's gonna be mods more than just like, oh, we're changing an object, or, oh, actually, wait, I need to do this. I never did this as a kid, but I, I know it exists now. So what you're saying is I can play Super Mario 64 with the GameCube controller. Theoretically, yeah. Actually, 100%, yeah. You just have to do a little bit of nasty config file stuff. But you can do it. We could get Mario 60 Fortnite easier. S sadly, or maybe not, I don't, I don't know. But, you know, sure. Like just look at look how look how cool that looks. HD. No no like it it runs buttery smooth because of course there's no like there's no like emulator that has to run with it. I want to see a 60 frames per second mod. That's what I want to see. Also, heck, I keep forgetting it's the Y the X button is is attack. They switch it. It should be B. It should be B. I know I can change it, but it should be B. Please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Yes. Thank you. I hate fork knives. Mm, those are very dangerous. Don't don't eat with a fork knife. See, this is perfect because like just last stream I was playing Mario uh, Mario 64 DS. Not Mario 64. Mario. Uh, New Super Mario Bros. for DS in HD, with a, with an HD emulator, and that was cool. But you know what's funny is that uh, that HD, I mean, sorry, HD DS, not a, not an emulator, not an emulator. That that uh, HD emulator thing, like, worked my computer to the max to get that thing to run in HD and look nice. This is like this could run on a Windows XP. This could probably I I don't know exactly because I haven't of course tested it. I don't have my old PC with me, but technically. You could run this thing on a PC, uh, on like a Windows XP. So I'm gonna save and quit so that way I can actually go full screen. Cause oh, Pixel Crafty, another 145 bits. Or uh, sorry, 140 bits. The other one was on there. I really don't know why it feels best to ask for a download link. This just really looks cool and such. Hope you're doing well. I'm gonna go bet. We'll sleep well. And Hexen just gave 245 bits. Thank you so much. I appreciate that a lot. You all are amazing. Thank you for the support. You're all sweet. Mario. There we go. Full screen. And, that, and I moved my mouse and made it go out of full screen. But I can make it go back in. No, I can't. There it goes. Okay, got it. DirectX 12 is only for Windows 10, I think. If this is, I think they said that this is based on DirectX 12. So then, yeah. But just, just for, like, the power-wise of what it can run... Surely, you know, surely this thing could run on Windows XP. And the thing is, is like, this crap could have been a, a PC game. It could have been. Could you imagine booting this up on your on your PC back in the 1994s? That'd be amazing. Also, thank you for following Pixel Crafting. I appreciate it. And thank you for the 15 bits, JDJG. Thank you so much. How was my day? Pretty darn good, actually. It was a pretty good day. I, I'm glad that I got my, my mic stand in. I'm also glad that um, I managed to uh, get a good chunk of my script done for because my next video, in case you guys don't know, is New Super Mario Brothers for the DS, and there's a lot of interesting info about it. A lot of interesting info. Like, did you know? I'll, I'll give a little spoiler here just because I'm I'm feeling like spoiling today. Uh, New Super Mario Brothers for the DS was originally going to be two-player multiplayer for the entirety of the main story. So, like, you know in the final game, if you've played it, uh, they have the Mario versus Luigi mode. 
and that's all good and fine. But originally, the entirety of this, the whole main storyline, could be played with the second player as Luigi, and they they scrapped the whole thing and made it just the. Uh, oh, I can't. Oh, I can't. Okay. And victory. I think that was a world record. I think that might have been a world record. Hey, Scoots, good to have you here. Can you show the file size of the EXE? Sure, why not? It's 24 megabytes. Specifically, 243 or 24636 kilobytes. Get, I like the button, get help. Thank you. Thank you, Windows. I do need help. Shaking my head, not 64 megabytes. <laughs> So we know how far we can switch it, and wonder how small it can be both horizontally and vertically. Was the source leaked? No. Um, it is. It was completely decompiled from a, from a lot of hard work. A lot of hard work. It was not part of the leak. My thing glitches out. What do you say about Super Mario 64 DS? I I misspoke. So sorry to be a little disappointing there, uh, but I misspoke. I have serious Xbox 360. What is with all the controllers? People have been saying Joy-Con drift, of course. People have been saying the Xbox, I mean, the uh, PS4 controllers are drifting. I read yesterday that someone said their Xbox One controller is drifting. Now my Xbox 360 controller is drifting. Just what the frick? What the frick? Okay, gonna get this now. I click the wrong button and going to kill myself by accident. Oh, that was... I hit the corner. Also, for any of you tuning in who don't care... Oh, come on. Who don't care about Super Mario 64, stick around for the Diddy Kong Racing Xbox prototype that is real, and I'm so bad at this. It only runs at, like, 5 frames per second. There we go. I freaking... Am I just bad at this? E. E. And to think I called you a COD gamer. No, no, no. See, here's the thing. Um, you're right. I'm not, and I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Shoot to the island sky. That's what we're doing. I did it on my first try as a kid. Okay. Oh, okay. That's... That, you know what? I actually completely believe you. That is that is a bra moment. Thank you, Hacking Maxon. Can we get can we get a bra in chat? Can we get a bra moment in chat? Thank you. Okay, let's try to get to the island. I don't know if you can make it from here, to be honest, but I guess we'll find out. Thank you, Oxygen, for following. I should I wish I could thank all of the people who have followed, but there's been so many of them. Like, astronomical amount of followers, which thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And for all of you who aren't sub, thank you for, for still giving us a bruh moment. For those of you who aren't sub to the channel and have access to Kirby bruh. Oh, dang it. Just wait. How, how many of you got this star on your first try? How, how many? I want to know how many of you got it first try. Mm. Avatar Battle Royale again. Good luck, everyone. The winner gets an avatar token they can use to get a new avatar. That's not just a generic one. Okay, this is this is freaking easy mode right here. This is just easy mode. And see, the thing was is I didn't want it to be easy. I wanted it to be hard because uh, I need to show my my gamer prowess, something like that. If I win, I will gift subs. Frick yeah, Hexen. <laughs> okay, this is easy mode. Boop. Yes. Oh, did you see? I told gamer prowess. I told you. That's what I was going for. Also, wait. Wait a second. Did I need to do that? I forget. Oh wait, there's a star. Okay, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Wait, who's winning? I can't. I can't even see the last two. Did the winner literally just die on the side of the screen? Dismund, 
Dismond is the winner of the Battle Royale. Congratulations. Let's check out another place. Enjoy that avatar token. Which, if you have chat points, if you go to the bottom screen and you see that little uh, Twitch logo on the bottom left of chat, you can, uh, you can click that and check out all of the channel rewards that we have. You get points just from watching. Also, Hexen just gifted two subs and friggin' destroyed the uh, the emote explosion that happened. Thank you so much, Hexen. You're, you're a wonderful person. Thank you so much. We're getting close to the... Uh, how the heck do I change these keybinds? There is a... Uh, there is a config file. If we are... I think that's... 116 sub points we have now we're getting we're getting close if we get to 150 subs we get a new emote which is still a little ways away but i didn't think we would get to 125 and get the next emote slot so you know crazier things have happened crazier things have happened you all are beautiful people thank you for supporting i really like honestly really really appreciate you you're very sweet people all of you also, Hexen gifted another sub, this time to Tiny7Eyes3D. That's your 63rd gift sub, jeez louise. Also, I've never been better at this game. I, I'm so bad at Sumo 64. Maybe it's just because I'm like, uh, playing on PC. Wait, why is there an arrow here? That's actually something I've never seen before. I know it's probably in the game. In fact, I know it's in the game. But I've never, uh, I've never done that before. I've never seen that before. Will you ever make remake the Majora's Mask beta video? That is a hundred percent certainty. I will definitely be remaking that. I'm also planning on remaking the Wind Waker video. I'm also planning on remaking the Banjo Kazooie video. I'm also planning on remaking the uh, Conquer video special. There's just been there's so many videos I want to remake. The Wind Waker one I, I especially want to remake because uh, freak. Hexen, six, ah, there it is. That's the number we were looking for. Hexen Hell just gifted her 64th gift sub. That is perfect. If you, you, you can't gift sub ever again now because you hit 64, it's, it's the perfect number. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Oh gosh, oh gosh, gosh, dang it. Now she, you have to make, if you ever want to give another gift sub, you're going to have to make a new account. Oh, but Mad Brian makes a good point. Makes a good point. A point that I, I can't say on my, my friendly, friendly stream. But it is a definite point. A very nice point. Imagine cheats, rewind, config, controls, and support. Oh yeah, well, I can imagine all that. In fact, it is more than likely happening. It is, it is probably definitely happening. Oh, that, I thought that was I, I, I thought that was a star. That was not a star. What the heck? Am I? Well, okay. First off, Oxygen just gave a thousand bits. Like, holy frick, that's amazing. And also, I'm on fire, or I was on fire. So thank you for cooking me. I don't know what that. I just turned on the face mask thing, and it just randomly shows up when people give bits. Why? Why? Who? Who decided that? And why haven't I done it sooner? Because that's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, see that? Watch this speedrun tactic. Here we go! Okay, so... Hmm. You are a grill! Douglas! Get your head out of my grill! Roasted and toasted. Thank you, Oxidane. I really appreciate you. That was a lot of freaking bits. Also, I'm surprised it didn't trigger a freaking sub- or a hype train. I'm really surprised it didn't do that. Maybe Hype Train is broken or something. Ah, yes. You, the penguin person. Eh. Let's do it. It looks so... It's It feels so fresh to play, too. Snip! And speaking of which, it's Hype Train time. For those of you who don't know, if we, you can get exclusive emotes... Well, it tells you right there. It says limit time to earn exclusive emotes. You can earn them... By, uh, by gifting, donating, giving bits, I think, maybe even following, get, subbing, subscribing, basically anything. If you do anything. Thank you, Scoots, for the 100 bits. Can we bring back Beauty64? I have no idea how to bring back Beauty64. I really don't. I wish I knew. It was a point where I looked like Squidward. Oh, gosh. 
I looked like like you know you know you know handsome Squidward. Also, thank you, Cash Poon, for gifting a tier one sub to Brick Mario Bros. Really, I'm sure he definitely appreciates it too. And we're at 64% on level two. I mean, are, should we even go on? Ugh, I'm a good gamer. I swear. I swear. That is a that is a good Wario emote. That is an amazing Wario emote. I redeem drink water. Well, I'm currently trying to transport a baby, but I will drink that water right afterwards because health is important. Health is very important. <laughs> Mason with 1500 bits. Choo choo. Ah. Ew. Oh, what am I? Oh, I'm disgusting. This is the opposite of Beauty64, but it's using the eye emotes. It's using my freaking eye emotes that I have. Oh, gosh, that's not Beauty64. Mason, thank you for the bits, but oh my gosh. That's, that's, that's awful. <laughs> but thank you. Yes, those eyes. They were the freaking eyes. The download is obnoxiously hidden. The entire internet is full of pages that just report it. I know, I know. I managed to almost stumble across this, actually. Hey, everything stopped exploding. Heck yeah. But will it keep exploding? That is the question. Will we get to Hype Train level 5? And Choo Choo indeed. Scoots has begun the Choo Chooing. I don't freaking know. Oh, the Penguin Race. Yes, I can do this. I'm good at these now. I used to be so bad at them as a kid. Dismond is continuing the gift sub they got from Hexen. Thank you, Dismond. Thank you so much. You're incredible. You're sweet. I appreciate it a lot. A lot. I appreciate all of you. Even even if you can't donate, just know I appreciate you. I don't appreciate this penguin though. Like, oh, did you see that epic gamer move? I shouldn't be saying it because I know I'll fail. I knew I'd fail. I knew it. I knew I'd fail. The moment I say I'm good, I fail. Mm. Thank you, Cat Yoshi, for following. If this gets to level four, I'm gonna use my ch chat points to do the Glug Glug remix. Will that will that even work with like the Mario music in the background? People are just gonna come into the stream. It's just gonna have Glug Glug remix, freaking uh, playing in the background here. I'll, if you do redeem it, I'll wait until we do the Donkey Kong 64 because there's no way we're getting any any good quality music out of that at five frames per second. We're gonna need some Konoko glug glug gas station music to drive lo-fi music to drive through drive i don't even know it's called oh come on yes yes oh yes oh heck no dang yes yes oh my gosh oh gosh gamer fuel oh yes 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 frick yeah <laughs> thank you cash Poo, for gifting your fifth sub to star lit he lit -he. thank you so much Appreciate it. I did. I broke the record. Also, the eyes also... I didn't realize the penguin eyes also looked like the emote. Heck yeah. We're at 55%. I think only one time we've ever made it to, to level 5. Oh, heck yeah. Yes. This. It's the same eye. It's the same eye. Actually, I don't. I don't really want to do the snow one anymore. I, I don't know of any more that are easy to get. There we are, Mason. Uh, what? Okay. Okay. No, no. This one's good. This one. This one's pretty quality. I'm a fan of this one. Thank you, Mason, for continuing to make it great. Thank you for continuing this hype train. And you too, Hollow Dude. You're amazing. We're getting there. JJG, see, JDJG managed to get the, the Mario.exe. It sounds like a freaking creepypasta. It sounds like a freaking creepypasta. D did you find Mario AEXE? It's the hardest to find Mario game. It was a, it's a port of Mario 64 for the PC. But really, it's actually the devil masquerading as a piranha plant. And if you look at it for too long, it starts to go hyper realistic with blood coming out of Mario's eyes because that's in every single creepypasta that ever exists. Actually, this game is easier to control <laughs> with with an Xbox controller. Much easier to control than a Nintendo 64 one. 
I'm sorry, Nintendo. I'm sorry. And he had no mouth. That is very important. He had no mouth. And also, I think the camera just... It's, it's a little bit easier to control when it's not buttons. Yes. And as a good Christian boy, I know that... That, uh, that I must defeat Piranha Plant Devil, but that is, a, that is a different time. And he had a hook for a hand! And his name was Martha Stewart! Scoots, another 100 bits! I don't have enough chat points, but I'm gonna give you bits to drink some water. You know what? Fair enough. Fair, look, just look at that. Look at that. Hype Train success, congratulations everyone. Enjoy your Hype Train emotes. Hmm. Big look for that 100 bits. I even give it an extra, an extra glug because I'm actually thirsty. Look at that, it just looks beautiful. Oh, it looks great. Okay, if you redeem, wait to redeem glug glug until, uh, or you could redeem it now, that works too. I'll turn it on when, uh, when we start doing the Donkey Kong one, for sure. I like, I know, no, it's really, it was literally exact words, like, wait to redeem, oh, okay. I keep wanting to do the right trigger. I got the Super Mario 64 officially on the Nintendo 64 decompilation Discord, and I compiled it. That works, too. That works, too, for sure. It's probably safer that way, too. In fact, I know it's safer that way. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, there we go. How do you get this? I guess just Google it. That's about that's about all I can say. Uh, X X D O D P D P D P O L U B U or X D O P D O P O K gave a good idea to do it. I got Moodil Ronaldo soccer. Golly, I don't even get that meme. When did that become a meme, and why did that become a meme? The like soccer meme. I have. Absolutely no idea, but I mean, you know, I ain't complaining. I ain't complaining. Thank you, Vixnix, for Vixnix Land for following. Thank you to everyone who followed today. Like, freak, thank you so much. I hope, I hope you consider uh, watching some more streams. I stream every single weekday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, around the same time. I streamed a little bit earlier today, but around roughly 7.30 p.m. Central Time is when I start streaming. Maybe a little earlier, maybe a tiny bit later. But uh, I stream right here. Not to mention, in case you don't know, which, I mean, there's a, I'm pretty sure you know, but in case you don't know, I do have a Discord server. And if you go to the Read Me First page on the Discord server, then you can, uh, then you can get notified of streams if you react with the Power Star. Then you don't have to ever miss a stream. And there you go. Thank you, Hexen and Scoots. If you're interested, we also have dank memes. We have we sometimes do game nights and stuff like that. We have a streaming center where people live stream sometimes in the Discord server. It's a good time if you're if you're interested. Being able to play this in full screen is actually it feels good. This is running 1080p full screen widescreen without any stretching. It's amazing. We play Ronaldo soccer every night. Oh I hope not. But you know, Hexen, you can do that. You have you have the freedom to stream in there. Go for it. Okay, so this is a water level. Andrew does not want to do a water level. Oh, frick. There's actually a secret there. Yeah, you know, here's the thing. You're going to watch me and you're going to be like, hasn't he played Mario 64 before? Why is he reacting like that? And the reason is because I might have played Mario 64, but I sure as heck did not beat the game. <laughs> I, did I? No, I don't think I ever beat the game. Even as a, as a child. Oh, heck, this level. No, I know. I'm a sinner. I know. I know this. You made a video on it, though. Well, I mean, I watched my brother play it. So, like, I know how it ends. I know all the levels. But I didn't beat it myself. I, I'm sorry. We lost seven viewers the moment I said I hadn't beat Mario 64. I'm sorry. As a person named Beta64, you have forsaken us. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll beat Mario 64. Here, I'll beat the Mario 64 PC port. That's what I'll do. I'll make it like a stream thing that I do. 
I will beat it and you will watch me beat it. In fact, I may have already, did I play this on, didn't I beat, did I beat, okay. Someone go back in the archives and see if I actually beat Mario 64 on stream and just completely forgot about it. I 100%ed uh, Banjo Kazooie on stream, so I can be at least a little more cultured, right? Can I be a le is that okay? Can I be at least a little more cultured? Also, water levels are so much easier now. Jeez, Louise. Beat it or I'll gift sub people. Guess I'll never. Maybe I don't. Maybe I shouldn't beat it. It's like, could you imagine? Part of my income as a streamer is just having not beaten Mario 64. So what do you do for a living? Well, uh, part of my, well, I, I haven't beaten Mario 64. That's what I do for a living, personally. How many stars do I need for the main thing? I keep forgetting. Also, who do who do? Thank you for following. All right, I need. Let's go. Uh, let's go here. Let's go. Let's go take a little haunting adventure. Can you show us the file size again? It was two four six three six. Two four six three six. Okay. Wait, there's no boost. Who am I freaking kidding? See, I'm, st I'm st Look at look at the trees though. They look very nice. They look very very nice. I didn't even notice that there's actually like dirt down here. Like it's actually textured, like dirt. I never noticed that. Can we read it? Will it say Luigi is real? 64? No. Still blurry. Too bad. Guess we'll never know NL if L is real or not. L is real 2048. Because everyone knows, everyone knows that uh, that Mar Luigi is coming to Super Mario 64 in the year 2048. That's what that means. Just we just haven't uh, gotten to that point yet. Hudbus has resubscribed for 18 months in a row. I'm taking Taco's title of baby. Thank you. Okay, let me, let me, I gotta, I gotta redeem, rem, I gotta remember to do Glug Glug Remix, but I have to do ASMR 64, and I'm, I'm sorry if I have to, like, be a little off the screen, but, uh, I'm, look at that portrait of Bowser, that's wonderful, but thank you for redeeming ASMR 64, so, what we're gonna do today on this speedrun of Mario 64, you're gonna wanna jump over that onto this, see how that worked? Now, what you don't realize is that is a heavily RNG moment. Uh, by being able to jump across it at a frame perfect uh, moment, you're able to actually beat that. If you notice, that was actually pixel uh, perfect jump. We want to collect all these coins here. It'll give us a little bit of a speed up. And then if we walk up here, we can actually bypass the spinners by just jumping right before the crystals. Notice how I haven't gotten hit by a spinner yet. Notice how I'm a freaking... Oh, that was pixel perfect. I'm actually a little scared. <laughs> now I'm actually scared because I, I think I pressed my luck too much. I, th I think I pressed my luck way too much on that one. Go. Okay. Whoop. There we go. We're just gonna head up there. Okay. That was actually my most impressive gamer moves. I've ever done in the history of ever. Please tell me someone clipped that. Because I, I want to be able to put this on my resume. Andrew, why would you like to work at Target? Well, I beat Mario 64 with pixel perfect jumps. And they're like, oh, that's amazing. <laughs> I'm so, I didn't realize he had to press a button. Oh, but like, look at Bowser. Look how amazing he looks. That's, that's what I wanted to see. Mouse cursor? This, I mean, actually, yeah, you would notice there's a mouse cursor because... Oh, did they fix the smoke, didn't they? Okay. Yes. No. No, they didn't fix the smoke. They. Wow, this is like such a direct port that they didn't even bother fixing the smoke. The, uh, the smoke in Mario 64 is actually a glitch. Like, oh, I'm so bad at this. Okay, there we go. No, I got it this time. I really do. I really got it this time. Okay, boop, boop. I wasted all my gamer skills on one little thing. 
They didn't do any custom code for this as far as I can tell, which is for the best. Or else people be like, oh, this isn't a faithful recreation. I like that it's completely 100% faithful. And let's start that battle royale because this is going to freaking freaking take a while. Why is this so hard? Just try the port out a little beta. It's really nice. It is really, really nice. Okay. Freaking doing it. Yeah, there it is. Okay, I figured it out. I have to go a little bit later than I thought. I did it. First try, babies. I did it first try. Scott Noah Slam apparently also did first try. I did it. I, I don't know if that was worthy of a hype. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that one is. It was quite worthy of a, of a hype. But sure. But sure. Yeah, first try hype. Let's let, thank you. Appreciate it. The first Glug. And don't you worry, we will be playing Glug Glug Remix. Oh, frick. I wish David V. Kimball was here. Because I did... I bought... Okay, so in case you don't know who David V. Kimball is, it is another uh, family-friendly live streamer that I'm good friends with. He... I'm a cheese nip man. I always got my box of cheese nips ready to go at all times. That is my that is my go-to snack. But I, I tried out his favorite thing, which is Jones Soda. And also, not to mention, Z Goin Music just subscribed with Twitch Prime for the first time. And I cannot thank you enough. Thank you for becoming a, a first time sub. Really appreciate it. And yes, I did get a finally a new box of cheese nips. And we have a redemption with the chat points for why cheese nips are the best. There are so many new people here that I'm, I'm gonna say it right now. This is why cheese nips are the best. This is why they're the best. And yes, it is a full box now. It's not empty anymore. Cheese sips are the best because they are a light snack. They're, they go like, whoosh. it's it's like eating into a pillow, into a cloud. If, if that's what you're looking for in a, in a, it's like crispy. It's like a crispy cloud. It's like if you, if you deep fry a cloud, it's, it's good. It doesn't have like a huge impact of a flavor, which I actually prefer because it is, it is good time. I'm not sponsored by the Nabisco. But I really wish I was. But it is, it is a good snack. And it is better than Cheez-Its. And I don't care what anyone says. Because it is better than Cheez-Its. First try, baby. So yeah, you can, you can add one that to the list of quotes Andrew said. Cheez-Its are deep fried clouds. But that is, that is my thing. Ooh, chemically induced feather wrapped in hard cloth. Yummy. Oh, heck yeah, man. There's nothing, there, if you're gonna go for an unhealthy snack, that's my favorite unhealthy snack, by far. Definitely. Also, Jake BMN is now a 31 month subscriber. Thank you so much. That is a heckin' long time to be subscribed. Like, Frick, you must be one of the first uh, subscribers I ever had because that's like, I've been live streaming for what, four years now? Four years or so? And, uh, yeah. Oh, frick, did you see that epic gamer move? My favorite part about this game is it, uh, this port, is that it makes me feel like I'm better at this game than I actually am. Um, yeah, no, but, uh, that's, it means you've been subscribed for a very, very long time. So thank you. Thank you so much. Twitter has summoned me. Well, Tony Varun, thank you so much for coming and hanging out. This is the PC port of Super Mario 64. Yeah, you're both going in the soup. It's new soup. Nope, nope, you're going in the soup. No doubts. You're going in the soup. Okay, I'm going in the soup. But you will be going in the soup. Okay, so... You know, I said that I felt like I was doing better at the game. Okay, yeah, yeah, come this way. Yeah, nice. And then, yeah, nice. And then, and then, yeah, nice. And then... Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Perfect. Okay, it works better if I, like, if I, like, do a little, like, running start. Yeah, there we go. Lava is soup now. Well, that's what I imagine. It's just like boiling hot soup. There we go. Oh, heck. 
Okay. Once again, don't think I'm just trying to play this up and be like, Oh, he's trying to act surprised because it's the PC port. He's played Mario 64 now. I legitimately forgot that that happened. I legitimately forgot that happened. I should have just put this as a first playthrough, but then people would get even more, like, weirded out. Check out Andrew's Twitter for all sorts of insightful thoughts. Do I have insightful thoughts? Is that is that what I have? I mean, be sure to check out my Twitter and follow if you're interested. But also, I have insight. I mean, sure. If you think so, go. Yeah. I also like how the oh gosh, the the, the drift almost killed me. There's like a little bit of green that I'm noticing now on the lava bubbles. Like, look at the lava bubbles. It's like a little green. Oh gosh. <sighs> I wanted that. More challenge. Yeah, I'm gonna go in the volcano now. So another thing that'd be really cool to uh okay, well I, I did that on purpose. Challenge, remember, is the poppin'. I'd like to see a mod where it's like zero poppin'. That would be really cool. He is really is a gamer blaming drift. It's drifting! It's drifting. Oh, look at that awesome. That's some cool looking lava. Whenever I see something like that, where it's like it's like kind of squishing down like that, it just reminds me of Conquer. Just because it like uses that effect like 700 billion times. Tokyo Dorifto. Tokyo Dorifto. Dang keyboard drifting again. <laughs> uh it's for real! The keys, the the WASD keys are drifting, bro! It's dr- it, okay. If- Let me ask you this. If- Let's say- If your key is stuck. Oh, that was frame perfect. If your key is stuck, would that be considered keyboard drift? If your key, like, gets perpetually stuck. I think that could be legally considered keyboard drift. Take your keyboard to Nintendo. It's a sign that you need to clean your keyboard. Well, you know, fair enough. Here we go, here we go. Perfect. Nice. I'm really enjoying No, bro, it's called Sticky Keys. Yeah. If the key gets stuck, you shouldn't eat cheese nips in front of the keyboard. I have to do it for the show! It's for the show, Mom! Andrew, why are you eating snacks on your live streams? It's for the show, Mom! You won't understand! It's for the freaking show! Okay. Now I need to find out where the freaking big bully is. Oh, I know where he is. He's over here. Does anyone know how to use the modified version from the moat during with from channel points? It should be in your uh in your thing. Like uh like it should say it. Like in your emote thing. Oh heck. Well I yeah, that's fine. I am not using the keyboard to play. I'm definitely using an Xbox controller because uh oh yes, that's wonderful. I'm definitely using an Xbox controller because uh this thing would not work. Okay, okay, that's it. Okay. It would not be very good with the keyboard. Oh, it's like, if I do the thing though, he gets me. Oh, yes! Ah! Oh. That's normal speedrun strats. I need to take the caps key off my keyboard so I can get the one million crumbs stuck in there out. What's the PC port of Mario 64 about? So some people decompiled the game into source code and then recompiled it for PC. That's that's the gist of it. So it is running natively on the PC. Uh, without any emulation support. You know, I could do this without actually, you know, being stupid. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah, there we go. That's the that's the ticket. We're look oh, okay. But I got an extra life. That's what I was going for. It's an, it's a quicker way to get an extra life. Oh, that was a dumb idea. Oh, that's a dumb idea. Okay, it's fine. Okay. Okay. 
Yes! Okay. Whew. Oh, I don't have a command for Andrew 64. I do have another thing for Andrew 64. I do have that. I have a second YouTube channel called Andrew 64. You can just search it in YouTube if you're interested. I need to upload the best of Twitch clips. I still haven't done... And Taco even put a freaking, uh... Uh, a best of for the Planet Coaster stream that I have uploaded. I just haven't made a thumbnail for it yet. Okay, let's check out some more levels. So, it is going to be up soon. I wonder if, uh... I wonder if the, the channel point emotes are freaking out. It's kind of weird. Super Mario 64 BC is basically Super Mario 64, but running at a native 4K. Well, it's also got, like, widescreen support. Bunch of different things. Contr Xbox controller support, all that kind of stuff. Without any emulation required. But yeah, it's basically an unchanged version of the game. Though. Top 10 anime battles. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I knew it was here. It looks crazy when you stretch it. It does. It is It is a good time. Thank you. I'm Dar for following. Appreciate it. Which number do you like better? 35 or 23? I like 35 better. Can't wait for your episode in New Super Mario Bros. I can't wait for it. It'll be soon. It's gonna be within the next two weeks. Ah, yes, Scuttlebug. Yes. I'm so sorry I made fun of you in my last Super Mario 64 video, Scuttlebug. I'm so sorry. I think this one might have been my least favorite level as a kid. Because it was so confusing to me. But it didn't take much to be very confusing. Wait, I just realized you were Beta 64. I am. I am the Beat Man, as they call me. The B-E-E-T Man. Also known as Beta 64, otherwise known as Beta 64, otherwise known as the Beta Boy. Bunch of different names. I know, Joey. This is freaking cool. It's a good time. Thank you, One Piranha Plant, for following. Appreciate it. Oh, no, it's this one part. I just like how it's got native widescreen support. That, that's really the part that gets me the most excited. Otherwise known as the Legend 27. Okay, gotta do the thing. Oh, the thing. I don't even remember where the frick to go. Oh, red coins. Oh, okay. I will do what I must. Okay. Did you see Mario just... <laughs> that, was, that was great. That was fantastic. Oh, I love that. Okay. And... Perfect. Bandrew isn't ready for what Andrew has in store. That is true. No, 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 don't leave! Bro, you're gonna watch Rick Rolling. Oh, sorry, not Rick Rolling. Bro, are you gonna watch for Rolling Rocks in 0.5 X presses? Oh, that hurt my brain. That my brain just shut off during that. That's one of my favorite things for my brain to do is just to stop. It just it just stops. Sometimes it's just like, no, you're not gonna read that. No, we're not reading that today. What are you, what are you kidding me? You wanna read? Think? Consider? What are, you, what are you, crazy? Can you beat the game without jumping? Okay, I think I'm supposed to like... Okay, there we go, got it. That didn't have any red coins, did it? I did that for no good reason, didn't I? Andrew, what's your thoughts on Mario 64 DS? Uh, I wasn't particularly a fan of the touchscreen controls, but I heard that there's a way you can play it using controller now. That there's a mod for it that you can do, which I am very interested in. So I'd very like to see that. Very like- I would very like to see that. Thank you! Is that a raid? From JJDB? Okay. JJDB is sending a transmission. However, sadly, I don't have access to that file right now, but I can have access to it a little a little bit later once I beat this level. 
but thank you for the raid, JJDP, and I am sorry I, I need to I need to grab access to that file for just a second. I should have had that prepared, but I didn't. Uh, JJDB uh, has has sent something very very interesting, an incoming transmission <laughs> that I will access in in just a minute once I get access to that file. Here's what I'll do. Might be able to, if I can. Yo, the HD is unreal. No, yeah, no, this is an unreal engine remaster with 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 lights in 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 real time lighting and shadows. I actually want that. Here's what I do. Actually, wait. Here it is. Here it is. There's an incoming transmission from from JJDB while I am currently playing Mario 64. Let's see if we can li listen up to this. Good evening, Beta 64. My family. Well, uh, whoopsie. Also, are you in my house? Are you in my old house? Thank you very much. Are you- why are you in my old house? How did you get that? How did you get that photo of my house? I didn't take that photo! He's the scorpion in my house? What the frick? Okay, I wish- I want to like, turn up the volume on this. I'll open it in VLC. <laughs> I'll explain. <laughs> Alright. Here, give me give me a moment, fellas. I need to I need to open up my second incoming transmission box. Here we go. Good evening, Beta 64. My okay. family friendly in the Pokemon Generation 3 or later way rival. I hope you're having a great stream so far, and I'm I'm deeply sorry to interrupt your stream. Um, but this information is it's just too vital. Uh, when I last contacted you with the vital information that uh, Dot's pretzels were significantly better than cheese nips. You complained that my blind taste test was just not scientific enough for you. Um, and then asked me to do another taste test, but I come to find that you went and did your own using cheese its and cheese nips, and I can't even believe it. You then used even gold frick fish. It's gotten me so heated that I'm starting to use your taglines. Um, well, I I, uh, I I did a little bit more research here, and I've I've got some really disturbing news, my uh -oh. friend, and it, it it gets down to this. First, I tell uh, me. I, oh, I pulled the audience a little bit talk. of our family friendly live streamers, and I I just wanted to share some of these with you real quick. Oh. Let me tell you about uh -oh. my favorite snack, it's Dot's David. home style pretzels, the pride of Dakota. But, uh, I'm wondering, Mad Spike, can I get your opinion about? Uh, what cheese nips taste like to you? Like, do you enjoy them? How do you feel about them? I don't know who this is, but uh, I'm not talking to him again. I'll be sure to share that with Beta. But uh, if if that's not enough to convince you, I uh, I went to film this video just now using my snacks, and uh, I, I picked them up off my desk ground over here, and. Uh, you're never gonna believe this. Your arms cut off, dude. I don't know if I can see this. See if I can get this to show. Actually, here, let me just show you. They all came out of the box. Look what came out of my cheese nips box. Yeah, those are ants. What the frick Were did you do? Ants in did my you import box? amps? No. Did you import ants, ants to put in? Because I know like there's no ants pretzels, in Dakota. But they do like cheese nips. What does that tell you? What does that tell you, my friend? Why did you, you import ants? So I gotta get ants. all the ants off my desk. It's horrible. But here's the deal. I don't think you're going to believe me until you try Dots Pretzels yourself. We're going to have to make sure that you do this. And to make that happen, I contacted my friend Bill, um, Bill? you know, of Bill's PC fame. Oh. Have you met him in Pokemon Red at some point in your life? And uh, he's got that cool device for sending Pokemon, you know, from one side of the world to the other. Mm. And I had planned on just delivering these Dots Pretzels to you directly. In fact, I'm at your old place now, and you're not here. You um, bought the apartment, so didn't you? So I, uh, I, I guess I'm just going to have to knew someone was moving in. send these to you via Dots, uh, via Bill's PC here. So I've got, I've got a, a bag of Dots Pretzels here, and I'm just going to drop it into Bill's PC. There you go. Uh, I put it in a box first, too, just so you know. Um, oh, okay. Uh, but, uh, yeah, enjoy those, and uh, hopefully it will change your life forever man peace out love you wait what's this over here could it be a box with none other than dots pretzels in it that you keep telling me are better than cheese nips but aren't 
Could that be what has happened? And why are there extra little pouches? Also, why did the game turn on and explode? That's right. This mad lad said that cheese nips are not as good as as a, as a dry pretzel snack. And I and I did and I called him I called his bluff. I called him bluff. However, he went this this beautiful man, now he's a beautiful man, went and sent me a 500 pound bag of Dots pretzels because they are the pride of Dakota and I don't even know what Dakota's like this is about the only thing I know that comes from Dakota North Dakota I forgot there's two of them but uh, he sent me uh, about 700 billion of these to try to say that they are better than cheese nips and I didn't believe them so we're gonna try them out why do they smell like cheese? Are these cheese flavored? What the frick? Well, they smell great, actually. But, I mean, they're, they suck. Literally, a lightning bolt just struck and thunder played outside. I think I've unlocked something that I'm not supposed to unlock. Give us a close-up? Well, looks like that. God is angry with what is happening right now. Dakota's wrath because I made fun of North Dakota. They're spicy. Why are they spicy? Why do they taste like they're savory? Also, Hunter, thank you for being here. In an effort to keep people from getting bored, I will also try to play the hardest freaking level in Mario 64 while also eating Das pretzels. Okay, can I say this? Not anything like I was expecting. And for some reason, they're spicy? Like, you gotta warn me, man. Also, he hasn't said anything since he came into chat. So I don't know if he, like, he left. He just left. He just gave me the pretzels and left. But, um, I'll say this. Lurking and waiting. <laughs> It's just then I throw up on camera, and then I get banned on Twitch. That's what happens. That really is what happens. Please tell me what the Super Mario 64 background is. All you gotta do is Google Super Mario 64 Vaporwave. Okay. This is way better than I was expecting. Because I was expecting this to be just like a regular old pretzel. From North Dakota, but according to their website, there's only one store in North Dakota that actually stocks them. Oh, that's very strange. Almost like there's a conspiracy afoot. There we go. See? And I did it all while eating a, a pretzel thing. Dude, if this was an ad, I would, I am legally bound to let you know. Otherwise, I'd be breaking the law. And I'm not a lawbreaker. So here's the deal. Not bad at all. They gotta put a freaking warning. Uh, not a warning. A, a label on this thing to say that they're like... Like spicy. And you know what? I'm gonna be admit, I'm gonna be made fun of, I bet. I bet these aren't spicy at all. I bet, I bet, I bet you that this is like, no, there's no spices on the thing, and I'm just like, oh, this is too spicy. I also, man, there, if there's two spicy things in the world, and the most spicy, Dots pretzels and white bread. The two spiciest things. So I've tried Dots pretzels, okay? Now I'm gonna try a cheese nip. Okay. Mmm. I'm gonna say something very controversial, and yet I'm gonna say it. I think we might have found something. We might have made a discovery that Dots pretzels and cheese nips taste great together. Like, okay, the Dots pretzels were good, and then I took a bite of that cheese nip, and it like elevated the taste of the cheese nip. Gosh dang it, this is the same gosh dang room, Bobby. Like, okay, I'm gonna, <laughs> I don't know if this is saying that I don't like Dodd's pretzels or whatnot, because I'm not trying to say that, 
what I'm saying is, when I ate a Dots pretzel and then ate a cheese nip, the cheese nip's flavor was just much better. It tasted, it tasted like it had been enhanced. Like, what the frick? That's so weird. Like, this is like the perfect combo snack. Like, for, forget winning. Forget the contest. Forget, forget that. How about Dots pretzels and cheese nips together? I'm, I, God, oh, sorry. God was not happy with that one. Oh, man. <laughs> it's like, no, that's the forbidden combo. It's, it's like, what? what is it? Like, cottage cheese and chocolate? That's another thing? Intriguing, but what would we drink with them? Caitlin? And I, that is an amazing idea, and I'm so glad I went to the store yesterday, because I didn't think about it. I'm not, I'm not playing like a joke or anything. That really goes well together. Yeah, they should put on the back, enhances the flavor of cheese nips, because it really does. Like, like, because cheese nips don't really have like that much of a taste. They're, they're, they're a nice, like, a uh, nice snack. Where can I order online? I, I don't know. Where'd you order this, JJDB? I mean, um, yeah, I mean, I know you sent it to me via the box, but where did you, like, order it from before you sent it to me? Do you know any skips in this game? Well, I sure know how to maybe play it. I don't know about any skips, but I know how to play it. Oh, they're so cute. Dotspresso.com forward slash shop. This may be the beginning of something, JJDB. We may be rivals, but perhaps we may be able to join forces for the greater culinary good. We don't want compromise, we want war. This ain't compromise. This is purely, purely, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? This is purely for my own benefit, for the cheese nips' own benefit. What better way to down it though? The, with the freaking berry lemonade Jones soda that I got because I know David V. Kimball loves this crap and, and says it's the greatest thing of all time and I wanted to taste it. This is all, in, in case any of you are like insanely confused, this is all family friendly live uh, peeps. All the family friendly live people have like a snack that they enjoy that have become, that has become like a thing. And so I am doing, I am the crazy one. I have finally managed to get the three, the, the, the lore. I managed to finally get the three streamer, family friendly streamer snacks in one. The Dots pretzels, the cheese nips with the Jones soda. This might actually kill me. Ooh. Oh, it's sweet Gatorade. That is exactly what it is. So I've had the drink. And then I eat a pretzel. Mm. Mm. And then I'm actually sneaking up on the bunny too while I do this. It's called multitasking. Then I have a cheese nip. Or drink kind of Jones soda. Guys. That is actually for real. I have ascended. For real. That is the combo. That is the perfect snack combo. You never get. It's, it's the thing of like. Oh, I had him. Oh, I had him. It's like, it's like if you have a snack, sometimes you can just get sick of it after a while. But it's got like, it's three distinct flavors. All at once. JJDB. In trying to make me fall in love with Dots Pretzels, you have instead made me ascend to a different plane of existence. Also, thank you for redeeming Change the Lights to Cheese Nip Orange. Weather kill stream. I mean, to be honest, ah uh, yes, the broken camera is still here, just like I like it. Yes! Oh, frick yeah, I got him! I will give one last little thing. Andrew is God. Well, I'm definitely not- JJDB just gifted five subs! Dude, thank you so much! I super pre- This is- this is a moment, guys. This is a moment. We've made it. We've all ascended together. That's just... 
This is the perfect snack. Mmm. Wow. That is, that is, wow. They're also, technically there's also, whatever the heck these are that were, was not meant to be sent to me, but was sent to me. Uh, Southwest style? I don't know what that means. I don't know how a region has a taste, but I'll, I'll give it a shot. Oh, what the frick? No, don't do it. <laughs> no, don't do it. Why? What is it going to do to me? Oh, Chappy, thank you for the five. Oh, it's hot. Oh, no. Joan Soda, help me. Chappy, thank you so much for gifting five gift subs. I almost forgot the star because that was such an amazing gift you gave everyone and me. Thank you. Excuse me, Master Whip, Penguin, Morgan, Herald of Exes, enjoy your subs. Thank you so much. So that was a little hotter than I thought. I want to check out some more levels, some new levels. Wow. This has been like a, an amazing day. Not only have we reached... Oh, frick, guys, we can finally... Oh, this is the moment. We can finally unlock the... Have 50 people in Twitch chat talking at the same time. Can everyone in Twitch chat just say... Just put the letter H. Just the letter H. Just everyone. Even if you're lucky. You don't have to type anything else out. You don't have to say anything else. Just type H. Let's... Can we get... Can we get to the 50? I don't remember how to leave. <laughs> New problem. I don't remember how to leave. H.H. Greg. That's also a good one. Oh, sweet. I went the wrong way, but that's fine. That's a good way to go. Thank you so much for doing this. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> that's that's why. I thought, I thought it was swimming against a current. But I was not. Oh, wait. I can't do anything, can I? Ah, oh, dang it. Because I have to wait for the water to, to decrease. See, I remember some things. I remember some things. Thank you so much, everyone. I don't know if we got it. If the achievement, I'll let you know in the Discord server. And uh, for those of you who don't know the link, because I assume some people have just shown up, uh, there is the link. I got you. Freaking Kale Fourth Whim just gave how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Gift subs. What the frick, guys? Can we get more? Wait, I gotta check. I, I gotta, I gotta check real quick to see how many subs away we are from new emotes. Dude, Kale Fourthwind, thank you so much for the gift subs. You're amazing. Thank you. I just said a naughty word. Did I? Did I say frick again? <laughs> okay. According to this, we have. 138. We need 12 more subs before we can unlock the next one. We're getting freaking close. Frick, I did not expect that. That's like 20 plus subs in one day. You guys are amazing. Hmm. Kale Forthwin, you are now the... Stop saying that word. Frick? I don't know what word I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know what word I'm saying. My grandma did tell me to stop saying the word frick so much on my streams. I was just I was just hanging out with my parents and my grandma was like, you know, we watch your streams sometimes. And uh we think you say frick a little too often. Don't say the frick word. <laughs> okay, so here's the problem. I'm stuck. So I I know. I know, I know I'm I'm bad. I'm just gonna close the program and reopen it because it's faster than trying to figure out how to get back to the front. <laughs> I know, I know it's stupid, but that's that's the best thing I can do. They're not going to be happy to know that I have a, an entire emote dedicated to the word frick. <laughs> Dis Dismond said basically where you have a hundred viewer average, remember me. Of course I remember you, Dismond. I try to remember every single person who comes to these streams. I try my best. I can gift the 12 subs, but I'm sacrificing the 64 gift subs I have. Hexen. I, that is, I don't know what to say. That is that is a, a hard choice. 
You know, my parents told me that in life you're gonna make some hard choices. That is one of those choices. Do you keep 64? Give the. Oh, man. Do you keep 64? Oh, heck. Oh, please. No, I lost it. Can you get more height? Or is it just over? It's fine. Or just get the thing. When you get a thousand viewer average, then it'll be, that'll be impossible. Frick, if I ever get a thousand viewers, holy frick. I don't know when that would ever happen. But heck, that would be pretty freaking awesome. I once had 400. That was a long time ago. And it was doing something, it was doing a, uh, a special uh, stream. Uh, heck, did I unlock Big Boo's Haunt yet? I forget how you unlock that. Yes? Yes! Aha! Yeah, it was a game archaeology stream. I used to do it where you would look in the files of, uh, of games. That's what we would do on stream. Live on stream. But, uh, some people... It, it, it got really hard because the preparation was a lot. And sometimes I would make mistakes. And I, like, couldn't get a game to run, and it would take, like, an hour or two hours to get it to run. And that would just kind of, like, kill everyone's vibe. So, that that is particularly why I stopped doing it. Oh, heck. Oh, I missed. I wanted to get on top of the roof. See, it's got no last name. I did do Mario Strikers. That was a really fun one. I really enjoyed it. My first stream was the Double Dash one. Freak. I, I mean, I'm still planning on doing it again. I just need to wait until uh, I got some good quality ideas. I also wanted to make I want to make a YouTube series based on it. I do. When that will happen, I don't know. Whenever I have enough time to experiment, which I do have quite a bit of time right now. Ow! I do have quite a bit of time right now, but right I need to focus on getting this episode done, and then I can uh, then after that I can start working on some other stuff. The Super Mario Galaxy one was pretty cool. They were, I think they were all pretty darn good. I, I enjoyed them. We still had some new findings too, like the, uh, half of the, uh, Mario Kart 64 DS prototype, I think, article was written based on those streams. Thank you, Fantastic Junior. Can I not do anything with this yet? I forget how this works. To be honest, I completely forgot how this works. Mario Kart, <laughs> sorry, Mario Kart DS, not Mario Kart 64 DS. It's actually really impressive that guy or team managed to reverse engineer Mario 64 for into a perfect PC port. Yes, it is very impressive, and I cannot thank them enough. It is, it is amazing. And thank you, Mr. Ping's man, for following. Still trying to rip the music from Ace Attorney trilogy on Steam. Hmm. You got it. I believe in you. That's why I don't drink soda on streams. Okay, usually I stream for an hour and a half, and we're getting to that time, but I just want to make sure that I, I can bring in the Diddy Kong Racing Xbox demo a little bit. Oh, oh Disman, okay. <laughs> I, I want to bring in the uh, the Diddy Kong, Diddy Kong Racing Xbox game. I want to bring that in before, before we, we cut the stream and call it a day. Because in order to stream... Uh, every single weekday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I, uh, I stream a little bit shorter than, than most other streamers do. Okay, there's the cool piano. Nice, nice. Gosh, it's horrible. It's horrifying. This was a very scary level. This was a, this, this, this could scare, this scared me as a kid. I got scared easily, though, as a kid. Like, look, it's got a freaking, like, man-eating book. How's that not terrifying? The piano isn't that scary. Well, I mean, as a child, as a, as a young boy, as a young lad, it wasn't it wasn't the easiest part of my life. It, it, was, it wasn't easy. Ghosts, don't die. Eh, heh, heh. Can you get off here? I mean, that's freaking scary. That's freaking scary. So yesterday, yeah, no, I, I, yeah, I played the game yesterday and I got very scared. Um, my mom had to pick me up. I was, I was very scared. 
Okay, so... Nothing here. I mean, this is the guy who was scared by Luigi's Mansion Ghost. I was. I am... I, as a kid, my most feared game, my m absolute most feared game, was... Piglet's Big Game for the Nintendo GameCube. That was the game I was most scared of. But it's still freaking terrifying. It's a freaking scary game. I will stream it sometime to, to prove to you all, prove to you all how absolutely terrifying Piglet's Big Game is. Never heard of that? Yeah, that's okay. It is a terrifying game. What are you talking about? Talking about? Piglet's Big Game. It's free. It's it's a game full of terror and scariness that is uh, based on the dreams of of the different Winnie the Pooh characters. And you have to watch out for these guys who are all around. And then what will happen is it'll play this music while you hear their footsteps, and you can't attack them. You have to try to get past them and then scare them. And then it just happens. And then you get to the point where they chase you. And they just point at you and then chase after you. And then, let's see if he does the battle. Okay, cool, he does a battle. So eventually, they'll come after you too much and you gotta start getting them. And then you go face them, and then you have to put in these insane button combos. Not, I mean, that's not insane. And then you can do this. But further in the game, Further in the game, you get you get some pretty freaking insane, like, like facial expressions, like that. And then sometimes there's just no music. It's literally just nothing. There's a uh, Eeyore's place is the is absolutely terrifying. This is pure horror, everyone. Then there's like this freaking door. Oh, please! I need to get through. Not so fast, small one. <laughs> like this but game is have to get freaking scary. You got and you get like Resident Evil like stages. Where, where it's just like a small camera angle like this with no music other than this oh, I'm so scared <laughs> this game is terrifying and uh, that is my most feared game of all time by far wait can I go through that? 911. It's 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 pretty horrifying. My parents they were like you need they decided to take back the game because I wouldn't stop having nightmares about it. Okay. I did I do remember beating it though or at least my mom beat it or something. My mom liked the game. I'm gonna redeem ASMR 64. You're gonna talk about Winnie the Pooh, and you are going to talk about Winnie the Pooh game. So, the thing about Winnie the Pooh, and what makes it so terrifying is I freaking accidentally walked out of the house. What makes it so terrifying is the fact that you literally have no way to defend yourself. You have to just sit there and wait for them to get close enough. It, it, I mean, it's a story about facing your fears. But it's freaking terrifying, and you unlock more grotesque faces that you can scare them with as time goes on. And there's like, there's an entire stage where you have to like, chase down a, a ball of paint from a completely dry world. A world that's completely gray. And there's like statues of people without their heads. And you have to like, get 
get the paintballs that are in their hands. It's freaking terrifying. It's freaking terrifying. Thank you for redeeming me ASMR 6 and 4. Okay, so this is this is the other side of this. Also, I have no freaking clue where the other coins are. How does one obtain this PC port? You're gonna have to Google it, basically. Who gave the eye to Dis? Who gave the idea to Disney? I don't freaking know. No, it's, it's pretty terrifying. And if someone can help me with the red coin locations, that'd be the greatest. The problem is there's just so many articles out there just talking about it. Jeez Louise, the lightning is it's, it's getting a little bit insane out here. Some are upstairs. How the frick do I get upstairs? I know, I should know this, and yet, this Andrew boy does it. Andrew is about to be taken out by a storm. If the stream dies, know that it was the storm. <laughs> you need to defeat the ghost to open the stairs. Got it. Okay, so I have to defeat every single ghost. Got it. None are upstairs, he's lying basically. Don't listen to him! Keep playing the same stage 50 times! Do it! Go on a murdering spree. That sounds about right. Oh. oh, that's... Oh. Oh, that's the worst. See, I've already displayed my epic gaming skills. And now we're getting to the point where, where I realize, wait. That's right. This is how good I am at Mario. Increasingly average. For those of you who are interested in watching further streams of mine, just know... That I am average at video games, so I like I usually like to make my streams more about entertaining things to play more than skills. <laughs> so so yeah. Fair warning. Fair warning here. Okay. He is actually lying for the first star you don't need to kill the you need don't need to kill the booze on the upper floors. Gotta be honest, streamers with skills don't often get much in terms of views, really. Well, I mean, like, speedrunners get some views. Got him. Just the downstairs boots. Got it. It's the entertainment value. Well, I will try to provide entertainment as best as I can. I am a variety streamer for a reason. Okay. Yes! Yes! Here we go. Alright. See, I'd make a complaint of like, oh gosh! I'd make a complaint about like, how was I supposed to know that? But this was this was back in 1993. Back when I had imagination and and desire to try different things. <laughs> Okay. Oh, there we go. Phew. Okay, I was like, oh no, I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that now. Heck yeah. We've done it. Okay. So, instead of playing more of this, how would you all like to see Diddy Kong Racing on the Xbox? And then we'll end the stream. Which, of course, after as we do every time, we raid and you get 250 free chat points if you stick around to the very end and raid, which is basically it just goes on to another streamer. We raid and go to a different streamer. So just as a little little treat for those of you stuck around, we have Diddy Kong Racing for the Xbox. And sadly, Xbox emulation ain't super, uh, you know, good. So this is the best option that I have. I've even, I've even turned on the experimental the hack, speed hack. Disable pixel shaders. Maybe that would make it run faster. But we will see. But it will run. Diddy Kong Racing for the Xbox. So, let me give you a little reason why this is a thing. It's a prototype made by Climax. Okay, apparently this was a pitch to Nintendo 
about making... Yes, it is time for Glog Glug. You're right. You are right. Thank you for reminding me. Glug. Because this thing is... The music's going to just freaking explode. Because it's just going to be like... <laughs> that was the worst sound I've ever made. So let's just have a little... A nice little bit of music. So, this was a pitch to Nintendo to uh, to make a uh, Diddy Kong Racing remaster, but to do the pitch, they decided it would be best to do it on an Xbox dev kit. So they made the pitch to Nintendo on an Xbox dev kit. I don't know why. Also, I clicked multiplayer and I've never done that before. It might crash. <laughs> it might crash. I should have clicked single player. Uh, but basically, it, it actually has some references to Donkey Kong Racing, if you remember that. It crashed. Heck yeah. Okay. Hold F4. I'll do it again. So, if you remember uh, my video I did on Donkey Kong Racing, there's a scene in the trailer right here. There's a scene in the trailer of Diddy of Diddy riding a giant rhino. And that is what they base this off of. But it still says Diddy Kong Racing. I did stop it. Okay. Then we will close and reopen it. Yeah, no, I, I did make that video. It's, it was a while ago, but I did, I did indeed. Gosh, it is really thundering and lightning. I gotta get the stream done before the whole house explodes. Okay, so this is it gonna run very slowly because Xbox emulation ate the best but this is Diddy Kong racing for the Xbox as a as a prototype Nikki's angry he knows you mixed the snacks beta I'm sorry so it will run faster once we get to a place that doesn't show uh show so much so let me let me if you hold down R2 you can go There we go. So this is running pretty much at full speed. I wonder. I wonder if the uh, the experimental thing would uh would cause the thing to the uh, the weirdness to go away. Disable pixel shaders. Ah oh, yes. Oh yes. Start. Oh yes. So apparently, don't do that. That is what I've learned. <laughs> don't do that. Xbox emulation, surprisingly, is uh, very, you know, very not... It hasn't really come a long way like any other console. This is unrelated to Donkey Kong Racing on the GameCube. Yes, it is. The only similarity is that, you know, he's riding a rhino. Okay, here we go. Let's start it up again. 360 or original? Original. Okay, well, it definitely looks a lot weirder. Oh, gosh! Yeah, maybe maybe I should turn that back on. Isn't I mean it's running a little faster, but you can't see anything. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Oh gosh. Yeah, it is it is running faster at least. Boy, well, let's just turn that back on. Let's just turn that right back on. Hacks. So it was literally just made as a as a pitch, like, hey, we can make the next gen thing. You should come over to a freaking. You should come over to us, tell us to make it. We'll make it on the GameCube once you give me, us a dev kit. So this was really just to tell them, hey, give us a dev kit so that way we can make this. But uh, they did not. They did not do it. So it's, it's just a weird thing to see like Diddy Kong and then just playing it on an Xbox. That, that is that is the, the nature of it. It looks pretty nice. It does look pretty nice. So like there's this, and then I can press the L1. It was it's it's one of these buttons I can press to make Diddy go forward on the thing, or maybe oh there we go. And this is why I save it for him because I mean it ain't much, but it's honest. That that's my thing. It ain't much, 
but it's honest. Yeah, no. It's if if this was playing on a real Xbox, it'd look it would it would play full speed. <laughs> this is actually perfect for this music though. It kind of matches, to be honest, like Like that's pretty nice. It's such a trip. You're so right. Okay, so I'm gonna try to go to this village Let's see if we can get to the village it'll take a couple years But while I'm getting there uh, <laughs> Lo-fi beats to ride your rhino too. <laughs> oh It's getting a little slower. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Feels like an early 2000s loading screen. What if you sped it up in editing so we can see what it actually would look like? You can do that if you want to. I mean, I might be able to try to do that. But, uh... That's... that's It's variable speed is the hard part. We'll get to the village when Nabisco sponsors us, so we're never getting to the village. There's like a giant treasure chest up there. Let me try to see it a little bit. Gosh, it really works with this music, though. Thank you for redeeming Glug Glug. This is perfect. It's like a giant feather on the ground. Really, none of it makes sense. None of none of this really makes a whole lot of sense. It's just to show them that they made it where you could run a rhino. I wonder if I can blow up the house if I run into it. That would be really cool. Come on. Yeah, come on. Destroy the house, do it! Just like the game, my computer just explodes, erupts into flames. Nope. 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 I wonder how this would look on console. I would love to be able to see. But I do not have an Xbox with me, nor do I have an Xbox that's hacked with me. Yeah, let's go to that pirate ship. And then we'll call it a stream once we get to the pirate ship. But I appreciate you all watching and hanging out with me. All the new people here who followed. Ooh, physics. Nice. I appreciate all of you. I appreciate all the freaking gift subs and the freaking everything. You guys rock. Oh, freak. oh we're moving up a little bit. We're getting a little bit closer. And just know, we will be raiding another streamer. So stick around for that and get... Oh, there's a butterfly. And get 250 free chat points you can use on tomorrow's stream. Or any other stream. Whatever stream you come to. Of course, the Discord server. If you go to Read Me First and React with the Power Star, you can get notified of all future th streams through Discord. And you can follow me on Twitter if you so desire. And I also, of course, have a YouTube channel because I am I am the Beta 64 man. I am indeed the Mr. Beta 64 man. I wonder if I can go in the water. The water looks awful. <laughs> it, just, it just looks like a flat piece of paper with a little bit of shininess to it. Let's see, let's see if it'll let me in the water. It does. Oh, I can just, it's just, it's just solid. I can just walk on the water. This is amazing. Let's get to the pirate ship. I'll look through the, the, the family friendly live team and see what, who will be streaming after this. Ocean man. Take me by oh, there's another island in the background. Do you see the little palm trees off in the distance? Oh Heck <laughs> What secrets are over there that I'm not gonna be able to figure out this stream because it would literally take all day No, it is deaf I can I can see why Nintendo was just like nah Nah I mean imagine if I came to Nintendo it was like here. Let me make the new Mario game and then just freaking like came in with like with a PS4 and just showed him this. Granted, running at full speed. This is such a mood. This is my new ending screen. It's just gonna be this. It's it's just this is the ending screen. Bring in an Unreal Engine or an Unreal demo. 
Bring in like the ones they show on YouTube. They're like, Zelda, but in 4K. Blah, why won't Nintendo make it like this with no respect to art style using default Unity and Unreal assets? Why aren't they using the models I downloaded off of Turbo Squid? Nintendo, why don't you hire this man? He makes the greatest Mario games that don't control well, but at least they use the default Unity assets and Unreal lighting and all that stuff. Oh, I'm completely under the water now. And the glitchy shadows. Hmm. Those are the classic ones. This will be Mario in 2013. Now imagine if I came up to you in 1990s and went, this is the future of Diddy Kong Racing. You just cry. <laughs> you just, you just freaking cry. Just be like, oh no, it's no. It's like, well, it's this or nothing, baby. And then it turned out it was nothing. <laughs> Nintendo, why no beta 64 game? Why, be Nintendo, why you no make prototype game? Hire beta 64 to make prototype game. It's actually running at a pretty reasonable frame rate. Now that I've made it to this island. This is not bad, look, look at this reasonable frame rate. I did not think I'd make it to this island before this stream ended. 10 out of 10. We made it. Is there anything beyond the island? I just, I just waiting for there to be even more. It's all procedurally generated. Yes, reasonable frame rate is the correct term to be using here. Oh, it's just a desert. Oh, look, we're getting to like 60 frames per second, guys. Here we go. Look, we got it. We got it. This is the frame rate it was meant to be. Well... Hope you guys enjoyed that. Oh gosh, don't don't, don't look that way, Diddy. This, why is this world just gigantic? The nether update be like. This is Minecraft, man. This is Minecraft 2.0. Well, I'm glad I made it this far. And I'm glad you all showed up to the stream. Thank you, Keith John Stack, for following. I really appreciate it. Any last follows? Anyone who wants who wants their name on the screen? Who, want, who wants the cute Animal Crossing thing to pop up? I want to hear that in a game trailer. And, and this game now runs entirely at reasonable frames per second. Yeah, no, open world games are the best, man. I'm just gonna go until we get over this ridge. And then... And then that is how we will end the stream. Would you like a car wash? That's what the song said. Oh, I gotta, I gotta take a swig real quick. Of a delicious Barry Jones soda. This actually has less uh, sugars than the regular cream soda. Granted, ah, it's still 66% of your daily sugar, but hey. Oh gosh, we reached the end of the world! We did it! We did it. We reached- now this is the vaporwave that I wanted. This is- this is perfect. Oh look, it's writing- there we go. Now we're getting a perfect frame rate. Look at that. 60 frames per second. What is that thing down there? It's just a UFO. There we go. The full frame rate. Now this is pod racing. Oh gosh. Oh, don't zoom in on that. Oh gosh. Oh, come on. Oh no, we can't. Do we, I guess what? Yeah. Wait, wait, this is what it ended on. The moment I clicked away, it's just this now. It's just this. It's just this. The perfect. This is this is the end. This is the perfect vapor wave. Just ending. The perfect end. Love you all. I'll see you over uh, uh, at the next stream with the raid. Stick around for it and get 250 free chat points. See you.